Hello, I hope everyone can hear me here. My name is Lutfi Nicola Sereni, just call me Nico. I am an English teacher uh, from Indonesia. I don't teach at formal schools, not yet at least, yeah. I still teach at an English training center. Uh, so basically in a country such as ours, people sometimes uh, go to extra classes, go to a tutoring service to teach them English. Yeah, because well, they want to learn English. Okay, after all, in our country, English is still a foreign language. This is not a second language. Yeah, we cannot go to the market and speak English to uh, the cashier, for example, or to other people that we find in the market. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, uh, in this video, as an English teacher, actually, I just want to share something just in case that uh, I cannot fulfill my dream, especially if you... Uh, believe that uh, English can help our country to be better someday because I believe so yeah after all it's the international language it's kind of easy to learn a lot of entertaining medium to learn English and uh, the alphabets it's actually pretty international so you don't have to learn uh, entirely whole new system of alphabets like Japanese, Thai, Chinese, Russian, or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so still, yeah, people believe learning English is kind of challenging. Well, I remember consulting with a master, an expert of English language teaching, Dr. Uh, Willy Renanda. Uh, I think at the moment he teaches in Singapore. Uh, I don't recall. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, so uh, basically, sometimes uh, most students is like this. They want to study English, uh, but let's say after a year of studying English with me, they don't see themselves a significant improvement, only a bit. What happened? Is it my mistake that they, they don't have any improvement? Is it theirs? Yeah. Well, blaming... Well, if you want to blame, I must say, I am partly responsible. And the students are also partly responsible. All right, probably I don't motivate them enough. Probably how I teach them is not uh, something compatible for the students. Yeah, after all, students have their own preferences, especially studying preferences. Yeah, all right. Or uh, it could be any other thing. I don't know. It's kind of complicated. This is not something uh, exact here. Yeah. The teaching languages and learning languages is something complicated because it requires a lot of human interactions. Yeah, it's not like one plus one equals two, which is pretty exact. Yeah. All right. So um, how about the students? All right. So uh, the discussion that I talk about with Dr. Willy Renandia is actually about this. Yeah. Uh, they already spend their money, uh, but they don't have time to practice at home. So what to do then? Well, uh, Dr. Willy told me that there is no other choice. Investing money is easy. Yeah, Attending the classes to the, to, to the teacher classes is easy, but uh, the difficult one is actually practicing at home. Yeah, I mean, let's say if you graduate from a driving school, but after that you stop driving in your free time or something like that, do you think that you can drive well? No, no, it's almost like any other uh, subjects or knowledge or field of expertise that you want to study. No practices at home, impossible, impossible to be master. It is probably not impossible, but it will take a long time. So uh, what to do here? I must remind you, studying English is not like uh, studying any other thing. Studying language is kind of fun, yeah? I mean, I mean, is there any other subject or field of expertise where you can practice what you want to learn by simply playing video games or watching movies or discussing something that you like? That's the thing, yeah? Uh, let me tell you the a little bit of journey of uh, uh, how I become at this level. I'm not an expert yet. Uh, probably some of you already noticed some kind of grammatical mistakes here and there uh, from my speech. Yeah, but it comes from practices. I studied at schools. I listened to the teacher. I did the practices the teachers gave to me. Yeah, but most important is I also spent my free time watching writing in English. 
I use them consistently almost every day. I still remember most of the time in my free time when I was in high school, besides playing with my friends or hanging around, sometimes I just uh, spend my day alone uh, watching movies in English and English subtitles. If I saw new vocabulary, I would just simply open the dictionary and, oh, that's the meaning. All right. And then I went to a forum talking about something that I like, like football. Football manager is also one of my favorite games. Yeah. And asked the other people in the forum how to become better, how to solve this, and something like that, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So that's how you have to learn English. Yeah. Uh, and then about the grammar. I have to be honest. Yeah, I did not learn grammar properly before I decided to go to college. I did take English education major. Um, for the grammar, there is no other way to practice, to learn the rules, to understand how to substitute things, uh, why people use this, why they use S in present simple or something like that. And then after that, the final challenge is not doing quiz, no, but correcting your own mistakes. Correcting your own mistakes will help you be good in grammar. Yeah, that's most of the times uh, how I make sure that I don't have grammatical flaws in my speeches and my writings. Yeah, okay. And after that, it will come naturally. Your brain will get used to it. All right, that's the thing. Okay. However, uh, the problem is like like this. Yeah, it's like this. What I did took time. It's impossible to do it in three months or let's say a year. Yes, it's it's possible. It's always possible. I know it's always possible, but it will take time. It will take time. All right. So, uh, what if you want to do it fast? Well, just just say do what uh, I did. Do what I did. Go study your grammar, go practice your English, however, with higher frequency and understand your priority. Sometimes some people just want to work uh, abroad doing manual labors. Well, if that's the case, at least you must enrich or get more vocabulary. After all, for manual labor jobs, you don't have to, you know, have a good grammar. Yeah, all you need to do is to be able to read instructions and say something at work. Yeah, say something at work, make a conversation, something like that. It doesn't matter if your grammar uh, is awful or not. Yeah, so keep practicing, keep telling stories, keep keep uh, dis discuss something. Yeah, in English. All right. Um, but the problem is, if you want to go to college, if you want to go to college, then Ignoring grammatical mistakes, it's kind of challenging because usually when you want to go to a college, that means they require you to have a respectful grammar at least. Yeah, at least your grammar must be accurate enough. So being fluent and having a lot of vocabulary is not enough. So that means you have to crank up that, uh, let's say, frequency of your practices. So yeah, if you say, if you think this is TLD, uh, if this is too long, I must say the TLDR. There is no other way to get better in English besides practices. The problem is English is not like uh, learning something more practical, like 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 driving or 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 anything. Yeah, all right. So in driving, yeah, it's uh, pretty easy. You follow instruction. That's it. In English or any other language learning, it's going to be branching. You have to take every path to get better in that language. All right. Okay, all right. I think that will be all from me. All right, so um, I'm, I'm trying to uh, upload some videos on my YouTube channel talking like this about teaching English or something like that. Probably it's just going to be ranting and I must be honest with you, I don't have good video editing skills. So most of the time, uh, the video that I'm going to upload, it's just going to be like this, me talking nonsense in front of camera. If you like it, what you watch, yeah. All right, uh, please uh, hit the like button and probably subscribe. If you don't like it, yeah, it's okay. All right, I understand people have their preferences, but please be respectful, that's it, all right? Okay, I think that we all have a good day and I hope your English learning journey is getting better and better. Good luck, happy learning, and bye-bye.